Scott here from Loon Outdoors. Today we have a uh, size 6 streamer hook in the vise and we're going to be tying a bucktail streamer. This is a 8 aught beavis thread in black and this is a really old school streamer. Uh, if you haven't fished a lot of streamers this one's you know falls into that ultra classic category. So we're going to start out doing uh, connecting turns all the way down the shank of the hook and once we get a about in between the point and the barb, we'll go ahead and uh, terminate our wraps back. And this is like a medium uh, tinsel. One side's going to be gold, the other side's silver, which is a very standard uh, tinsel um, in the fly fishing industry. We're going to go for the silver side. So I'm going to tie the silver side in. And next up we're going to use some yellow floss. Now with floss bodies you want to keep the underbody as clean as possible. So what I'm going to do here is we'll actually wrap a little bit forward and I'll go ahead and tag this floss in and you can see I leave a little bit extra. And you can see I'm really pushing to have those turns be nice and tight all the way down. And if your floss gets a little bit out of hand, you can smooth it down with uh, a little bit of spit or, you know, just kind of get it tamed in there best as possible. As you can see, the floss likes to come apart, so if you just smooth her out, get it a little bit wet, you'll have great results. And what we'll do is we'll do connecting turns of floss all the way forward to about where we're going to have our wing on this fly, and the wing's going to be our bucktail in this case. And once we get it secured in there, we'll go ahead and really lock it in place, trim off all the excess. So next up, we're going to take our tinsel and we'll go ahead and wrap forward. And uh, I just like to call this a barber pole, but really we're just segmenting the body. Um, again, trying to keep our wraps as equal as possible. And we'll go ahead and take off our extra tinsel and we're going to bring in some yellow bucktail. And I'm not going to go too heavy with the bucktail. We just are, it's a pretty dainty streamer by today's standards. So um, we'll probably get about a sixteenth of an inch of bucktail. Try to keep the tips uh, somewhat even if possible. A little taper never really hurts. Um, so I'll do a few securing wraps there and I'm going to leave all of the bucktail coming out as we move into a brown bucktail so this will be like a stacked wing kind of. It'll be a multicolored wing. And I'm just clearing out any sort of fluff or anything else that I wouldn't want in there out of the wing. So you can see now we have a, a two-tone wing and we're going to finish this off with some more yellow bucktail. And again, a smaller section of it is going to work out perfectly. You could stack this and make it uh, you know, very even on the tips. 
Um, I like to keep them even-ish, like I said, just because I think it adds a little bit more realism to this fly. So we'll do some strong wraps, making sure everything's secured. I'm going to pull all of my butt sections, which are the thicker portion of the bucktail, up and get ready to create the head. Looks like I goofed up there and cut my thread. What a rookie maneuver. Um, anyways, that happens when you got like strands of stuff going everywhere every once in a while. Not a huge issue. We'll clean it up and uh, move forward. So we'll go ahead and this has a pretty substantial thread head to it. Um, being that it's an older pattern, it's just got a lot more thread on the front of this fly. We'll go ahead and do a, a whip finish. Um, and that's going to you know finalize the pattern. Trim off your thread. And next up, just a little bit of our water-based head cement will help hold everything in place. Great thing is, is that penetrates deeply, so it'll actually end up gluing the bucktail to the bucktail to the hook shank to the thread, and uh, you know really add durability to your fly pattern. Anyways, simple bucktail streamer. Thanks for watching.